just to show you what's up, this is with the filter on, this is with the filter off. I'm gonna fix the exposure or let the auto exposure do its thing so you can see where the exposure goes without that filter. So, how am I shooting with this moment anamorphic lens in the middle of the day? There's no way I can have correct shutter speed without having wonky exposure, right? Wrong. That shutter speed right there is one over 48. The shutter speed on the other camera though that doesn't have one of these filters on it is like one over 2,500. So with a variable ND filter like this one right here mounted to my moment lens, I can shoot in any harsh lighting scenario. But how am I supposed to mount the filters to my phone? If you have moment lenses or have thought about getting moment lenses and have also been interested in attaching filters to the lenses, then you've undoubtedly been faced with this question. The 67 millimeter phone filter mount or the 67 millimeter lens filter mount. This one right here is the lens filter mount because I've attached the lens or the filter to the lens. I'll show you a little bit later what the filter mount is and that's just going to allow you to attach filters directly to your phone. In this video, I'll explain why each is a viable option and show you how to use both the phone filter mount and the lens filter mount. Let's get started. First, we'll go over what Moment says about both of these options. Then I'll attach both of them to my iPhone 13 Pro Max so that you can see how they work and what they do. After that, I'll explain why I would recommend one over the other unless, bro, you know you're gonna have to watch this whole video to figure that out. The Moment 67 millimeter phone filter mount. There we go, we got it right here. Got that variable ND, I'm adjusting everything. Here. Good exposure pointed back that way. This filter allows you to mount filters to pretty much any device without requiring a moment case. Do note, I can't attach it to the beast cage that I have on my iPhone 11 Pro because it's just too thick. Um, but you can use this moment filter mount with any phone without a case on it, and you should be able to do it without any sort of issues. So, this phone filter mount. Um, is I'll take the filter off of there so that you can see um, just an fyi i have the variable nd set for a moment um, so this has like a total of let me check one two three there are four stops on this filter and four stops on the other filter that essentially allows me to shoot from like just kind of harsh light all the way to like shooting in the Bonneville salt flats in Utah um, in the middle of the day. Essentially this is like every bit of filter that you could ever need and you can twist the filter like this um, to adjust it to where you want it to be. But for our purposes today, I think I'm using like ND128, um, but I'll give you a more accurate reading on that once I get this set up. To attach this, literally all you do is you take this place where it looks like the lenses should come out, and you just pop that right over there and turn this down a little bit, and that is literally it. The What you're screwing down on the back of the mount has like a little felt, so you're not getting metal on glass. Um, I've never had any issues with scratching or cracking the, the screen or anything with this filter mount, which I've had other lens mounts that have been of a similar design but haven't had the felt, haven't been as high quality of build, and I've just been concerned with that. Um, but I digress, all you do now is you just twist the filter in there to screw it in, um, and you're, you're good to go. Um, I'll show you, so we're 
the screen recording here. Unlock the exposure. Take it to where it's supposed to be. I'm shooting in 24 frames per second. So I want the shutter speed to be 1 over 48. And there you can see that I've even got too much filter on there. But when you turn it around and face in that direction, the exposure is a little bit better. So, um, there's that filter. If you are a moment shooter or if you don't even know if you want um, to attach moment lenses but you're just interested in filters for your phone, this is, as far as I'm concerned, the way to go. Um, it's very easy to use, high quality, um, and yeah. But if you're somebody like me and you do have moment lenses, you like using moment lenses, and you're looking for a way to have this kind of exposure control, um, but with the moment lenses, then you're wanna, gonna wanna go with the 67 millimeter filter adapter. The Moment 67 millimeter lens filter mount. This option allows you to mount filters to most Moment lenses, but does require the purchase of a Moment M series case or some other kind of mounting option. You will have to swap out these little rubber collars depending on which lens you want to use with this option, but it's a fairly simple process. While Moment's website does say that this 67 millimeter lens filter mount works with all Moment lenses, do note that they also say that you can't use it with the 14 millimeter fisheye, which is very contradictory and confusing, but in my experience, I've tried to get it to work with the 14 millimeter fisheye because it's one of my favorites and it doesn't work. So, why purchase the Moment 67mm lens filter mount? If you're shooting a mobile film of some kind and want to take advantage of lots of different focal lengths during all times of the day, then the lens filter mount is the clear winner for you. The only thing of note with the lens filter mount is that my Zion Smooth 4 gimbals struggles with that mount and the filter and the lens, even with uh, the max weight that I can put on my counterweight. It doesn't do a very good job of balancing, um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. I mostly have an issue with the 18 millimeter wide and the 58 millimeter tele lenses, but if for whatever reason I need to use one of those lenses, I just pop it on the tripod like this and I have no issues whatsoever. To summarize everything that I've said so far, the lens filter mount is preferable for more advanced shooters and those that plan to grow as mobile photographers or filmmakers. For the purposes of what we're doing in this video right now, I have my Gold Flare 1.33 times anamorphic lens for the moment. So what you do with this filter mount, and it comes in lots of different pieces. Um, so this mount thing right here is what the filter is going to screw into. And then you have all of these different pieces here that you kind of pop into the filter mount. So that's the anamorphic one right there. Then there's one for like the macro. And these Kind of just pop in and out. They're very easy to get in and out um, and your purchase should come with three different ones. And I could I guess attach all of the moment lenses in this way except the 14 millimeter fisheye but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to do it with the anamorphic um, just because why we've talked about the filter mount um, and how this is not going to allow you to use your moment lenses on your phone and the filter but it's a great option if you don't have any moment lenses um, you have a triple camera set up and you just want to be able to better control your exposure manually um, this is a great option it's so fast if I was on vacation and I needed to shoot things quickly I would probably prefer to use this over the um, filter adapter or whatever this thing is called because this is so fast 
Um, it fits over all three of the lenses and I can just cycle through them and be able to use the manual settings and everything is going to look good and consistent. Um, whereas I'm going to use this one if I'm shooting something like a mobile film or a music video or something where I want to vary the focal lengths and still have that control but I'm not as worried about the time that it takes me to switch and change the settings and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, hopefully that answers all of your questions about whether you should buy this one or this one. Um, yeah. And that's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It really helps photos with phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Because of the algorithm. Comment which moment filter mount is best for you. If you do decide to purchase either filter mount, then consider doing so via the links located right down there as the nominal compensation that I receive from your purchase helps me make more videos just like this one. And as always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell because we're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, and unboxings, anything that you can imagine if you like taking photos and videos on your phone. Doodles, see you in the next one. Bye.